In this week's topic, let's talk about cable containment. Places where you actually keep cables, none of your iPhone cables or electronic cables, but the actual building cables. This video is for people or students who are really new in construction sector, especially for site electrical engineers to learn about the electrical stuff so that you don't get overwhelmed or bombarded when you are just being positioned at the site. Let's get started. First, let us go through the types of cable containment. First up, we have the cable ladder, which looks like the shape of a ladder. Next up, we have cable tray. It looks somewhat like this, and it comes in the perforated form or the solid form. So it's called a cable tray because of the shape that looks like a food tray. Then next we have the cable basket. So it looks like your laundry basket that has holes on it, big holes on it. Then we have the cable trunking, which is commonly known and commonly used in commercial buildings. Lastly, in order to branch out your cables to several power sockets or power sources or extended locations of lighting, there we usually use the cable conduits. After knowing the type of cable containment, we next have to know its materials. Now let's talk about the few most commonly seen materials that are used on construction. First is the hot dip galvanized, which looks like this. Then we have the epoxy powder coated type which comes in many colors and they look like that. Then we also have the PVC type and also the stainless steel. When you just got your project, usually it is stated in the specifications of the project, what type of cable containment are required in the project. So once you know the type and you know the material, it's really easy to puzzle them up. For example, when it says HDG cable ladder, which means it's the HDG material plus the ladder type and combine it and boom, you get the HDG cable ladder. And the second example would be the epoxy perforated cable tray. So first up, you look at the material, which is the epoxy powder coated type. If it states the color, say green, there you have it, green epoxy type then you put it with perforated cable tray which is the cable tray with holes on it so and you combine them boom you get the epoxy perforated cable tray it is really easy to make sense of it and now let's move to another level and in this section we will talk about cable connectors and what are cable connectors cable connectors are used to connect from one point to another so it connects the routing of the cable tray on how it wants to turn, how it wants to bend, and how it wants to go through a different elevation through different levels. That is how we connect the root of the cable via connectors. Now let's look at the several types of connectors that are commonly used in construction. First, we have the straights, we have the t shape comes in equal T and unequal T cable that branches to four directions, which is the cross, equal cross, and unequal cross. Next, we have the bending on how to turn left and right, which is the right elbow horizontal, 45 degree bend horizontal. Then we also have connectors connecting different heights and elevations. So if you're at this level, you want to go up, it goes with a bend. We also have the inside riser and the outside riser. Another commonly seen connectors are also the reducers. We have the left side reducer, which the reducing part is on the left. We also have reducers on right hand side. We also have straight reducers that reduces in the middle. So this is an example of how it connects from point A to point B. Looking at this diagram, you can see various types of connectors are used to connect from one point to another through different directions, either left or right, up or down. 
in the next video i will talk about the cable containment accessories things that comes along to complete the final termination of cable containment and the extra accessories that help to be fixed together on the cable containment and if you find this video informative and you would like to follow for more information please subscribe to my channel and i hope to see you again in the next video ciao ciao